In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about the measure, rescale and rotate modules, which all work together. So in this lesson, we'll talk about the rescale module. Now, quite often you'll be given a van or something like that or a shop window to write up and apply some signs to. This is a, a, an example of one here. So this may be in your shop and you need to do some signage for it. So you can go to the van itself and take a side-on photo like this one here with your digital camera and then just import it straight into the program like we've got here. Now you'll know this wheelbase measurement because you can measure it on the job. Uh, at this point in time, this uh, image when we bring it in is, as you can see, 60.354 inches. Of course, the van in real life is a lot bigger than that. And when we measure the wheelbase, we know that it's 135 inches. So we come to this module here, the rescale module, and the size, scale, and rotation of the design center. Select our object there, and you can see these measuring tools that we have here. So if I click on the um, rescale button here, we can then rescale this um, van up to its actual full size, so it's uh, full size in the program. So you can see here it's 60.354 inches from edge to edge, and that's represented here in the program as you can see, 60.354 inches. We know the wheelbase is 135 inches, so from uh, the center of the wheels, from the hubs, we know that's 135 inches. So we need to rescale this image up to match that particular size. So our picture is at the same scale as what we have in the program. Now we can change our view here from like a frosted view to a full view like so, and we can turn our actual ruler on or off, as you can see there. So the next thing to do is to zoom into these areas here. So we need to get the start of the ruler and the end of the ruler into position like so by simply just left clicking and dragging your mouse into position. And you can see it snaps to the horizontal like that. It's a subtle snap, so you'll need to practice with that. What we want to do here now is we want to uh, zoom in and zero in and get this as accurate as we possibly can. So we zoom right in and we're looking for this wheel hub here. And we want to center the start of the ruler as close as we can to the center of the uh, hub. And as you can see there, it's not that hard to do. You just simply move the start of the ruler to position and by using the central part of the wheel, you can see that. Now we need to focus on the end of the ruler. So we zoom right into that like so. And we need to get the level, the horizontal, nice and, um, well, zero degrees, basically. So we can move the end of the ruler around, and we can see here it's, it's down at 0.2 of a degree. So we need to lift that up a little bit until it snaps back at zero degrees, like so, and then find the center of that, uh, of that section there. And that should be pretty accurate. And you'll find that this is actually quite accurate. And if you're a little bit unsure, if you look at it and you go, oh, I'm not 100% sure, you can just zoom back in, of course like so. And just double check and make sure that you're happy with the position. And it is definitely central there, so we're happy with that. Now, at the moment it's 37 inches. Obviously we need to set that at 135 inches. Now you've got the scale or the resize to length. Now we know that it's 135, so we simply type that in there. Press Enter. And you can see how it sets it to 135 inches, which happens to be 360.66% which is roughly three and a half times the size of our image that we've taken. And we need to now rescale that up so that the image in the designing area is actually the same as the van we've got. So we click Accept there, and you can see it comes in much larger at full scale. I'll just zoom out to show you, as you can see there. And we can see now that from end to end it's now 217 inches, which is much more like the actual van we've got in our shop that we need to apply some signage to. Now I'll just show that to you here, I'll bring out the dimension tool and we'll just do a horizontal dimension here. I'll just rough it in to begin with, like so. You can see it's almost 135 inches there. I'll just set that up here in the uh, size tool to 135 inches and just reposition it. You can see it's quite accurate. And as you can see there, I can even zoom in a little bit to make it more clear. See it's in the centre of the hub there and the centre of the hub there and 135 inches. So we've now rescaled our van to full scale or one to one scale in the program to match the job that we've got to um, apply some signage to. And we can then use the horizontal ruler there to measure other parts of the van. And you'll find it, it actually measures quite accurately as a result of that scaling. So that's how you scale an image. Now you can either scale up or scale down. It really doesn't matter as long as you've got two points to work with. And then you can use the rescale modules I've just shown you. Um, there's also, which is located here, so that's where that is, those measure tools, just so that you know exactly where to find them. Um, and as long as you've got a picture you've taken and you can measure it on the job and then come in here and rescale it up or down, 
to match. Now, you can also use the reapply tool. So if I bring in the original image like so, you can see that's what it, the original size of and below is what we've scaled it to. Over here on the right hand side we've had this reapply um, button and when we click on that you'll see that the scale we've just applied uh, is remembered by the program so that you can apply it to anything else. So you might have a series of pictures like the other side of the van etc that's taken at the same scale and you just simply click reapply. So it's a great way of scaling up your objects or scaling them down and making what you have in the shop match what you have in the screen for your, uh, for your jobs. And that's the end of this lesson.